Hi, my name is Kastitis, and in this video, we'll learn what is Python, why it is so popular, and what it is used for. Python is the most popular programming language according to TOB and PYPL indexes from June 2022. While TOB analyzes how often people look for a programming language in various search engines, PYPL takes into account how often people look for language tutorials on Google. Are you one of those people counted in the index number and want to learn more about Python? If so, let's start with an overview. Python is an object-oriented and high-level programming language. That means its code doesn't contain any type declarations of variables, parameters, functions, or methods, making it short and flexible. It runs on almost all system architectures and can be used in many different applications, including websites, machine learning, and data analysis. The Dutch programmer Thiedel van Rossum officially introduced Python in 1991. Nowadays, it is administered by a non-profit corporation called Python Software Foundation. And there are actually a lot of services that you use in everyday life that are coded using Python, like Google, Facebook, Dropbox, and Spotify to name a few. Now that we know the basics of Python, let's go through some of the reasons why it is so popular and why it's a great idea to learn it. First, Python is free and open source. Python is an open source language, which means people can use and distribute the source code for free, even for commercial purposes. Nowadays, many Linux and Unix distributions and even some Windows computers come with Python already installed. As of 2022, Python 3 is considered the most up-to-date version. The previous version, Python 2, was sunsetted in January 2020 and is no longer updated with bug fixes, new features, or security patches. If you don't have Python 3 yet, installing it is very simple. You only need to go to python.org and click the Downloads tab on the navigation bar. Hit that Download Python button if you use Windows, or download the version for your operating system by clicking one of the links available. After that, you may also need an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, to write and edit the code more efficiently. Some of the most popular Python IDEs are Idle, PyCharm, Visual Studio Code, and Atom. Second, Python is easy to learn. Python uses simple syntax with lots of English keywords, so it is even easier for beginners to understand it. In addition to all the courses and bootcamps available, Python has a large community, so programmers have many people to turn to if they have questions or coding problems. Also, python.org provides extensive documentation and discussion forums. Together with the abundant resources you can find anywhere on the internet, it will make your learning journey much easier. Next, Python is easy to use. Let's check this comparison between JavaScript and Python to create a Hello World text. If Python makes a single text creation a lot easier, imagine how it can solve complex problems. Also, as it is an interpreted language, you can run each line of code as soon as you finish writing it and see the results immediately. This saves programmers a lot of time since it helps them quickly catch errors. Furthermore, Python developer is a high paying role. Because of its simplicity and versatility, Python has become one of the highest paying programming languages in 2022. The average salary of a Python developer is more than $115,000 a year, with over 200,000 job offerings in the United States and 50,000 in Europe. If you prefer to become a freelance programmer, mastering Python can also land you lucrative job opportunities. By becoming a freelance Python developer, you may expect to receive $55 to $60 per hour. In addition to that, since you can use Python to create various applications on different platforms and operating systems, you'll be able to participate in multiple projects. At this point in the video, you might have noticed that Python is a very versatile language. 
So let's go over the most common projects you can work on with Python. Let's start with website development. The website development role falls into two parts, front-end and back-end. Also known as the client side of the application, the front-end refers to the part of a website visitors directly interact with. The typical programming languages used for front-end website development are HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Meanwhile, Python is commonly used for the backend development, which refers to server side of a website. A website's backend is not visible to the visitors. It stores website data and makes sure everything on the frontend works seamlessly. Programmers can use Python to transfer data to and from servers, interact with databases, and manage website security. To help create data structure in an application and give it additional features, it's common to use a Python framework. Some of the most common options are Django, Flask, Cherry Pie, and Pyramid. Next up is automation and system scripting. Automation refers to making computers or machines complete tasks without human intervention, while scripting refers to writing code to create an automated system. Since Python is also categorized as a scripting language, you can use it to automate various tasks for programming, or even non-programming purposes. These tasks include solving simple math problems, renaming files, converting files, or calculating exchange rates. With Python, you can also do software testing. Software must go through a quality assurance or QA process to maintain excellent customer satisfaction. QA ensures that the product is high quality, consistent, and offers a smooth user experience. Since releasing new software or updating it should be quick and efficient to keep up with competitors, companies generally use an automated process. As we discussed in the previous section, programmers can use Python to automate tests, manage test data, and analyze test results without human intervention. As a result, it speeds up the QA process while maintaining the software quality. Some Python modules that software engineers often use for software testing include Robot, PyTest, UnitTest, and Selenium. Python has become an integral part of data analysis and machine learning. Data analysis is a widely used process that turns raw data into insights and relative information to support decision making. Meanwhile, machine learning is a part of artificial intelligence that uses algorithms and data to create models that learn, gradually improving their accuracy. Social media services, virtual personal assistants, and online customer support are a few areas that use it. Both data analysis and machine learning rely heavily on data collection and analysis to create the automation process. Therefore, data scientists and analysts use Python code to mine big data, build machine learning algorithms, manipulate and analyze data, and perform complex statistical calculations. Yes, Python is that flexible and powerful. You can also use it to create various types of data visualizations, including pie charts, line and bar graphs, three-dimensional plots, and histograms. Generally, programmers use a library to make programming simpler and optimize tasks. Some examples of widely used Python libraries for data analysis are Pandas, Matplotlib, NumPy, and SciPy. Meanwhile, the popular Python libraries for machine learning include TensorFlow, and PyTorch. And last but not least, game development. If you know games like The Sims 4, World of Tanks, EVE Online, or Civilization 4, they are created using Python code. Python simplicity makes it great for creating basic games or rapid prototyping complex ones. Its simple syntax makes it possible for rookie game developers to quickly learn Python for creating graphical user interfaces building 2D and 3D games, or making visual novel and physics-based games. For professional game developers, Python code can be used for building game prototypes quickly and presenting a playable visualization to investors. Some of the most commonly used Python frameworks to deliver game prototypes in the quickest way are Pygame, Piglet, Kiwi, Panda3D, and RemPy. That's it! 
I hope this video helped you learn what is Python, why it is so popular, and its most common uses. Do you have any questions? Don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. We will be more than happy to answer all of them. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with everyone you think would love to know more about Python. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Hostinger Academy channel. Best of luck in your online journey!